Is it record? no, it's recording? Yep. Okay. Hi, I'm the lucky bar tie and what is that? Alright, so after the tremendous success and the sheer amount of feedback I got from the last review video, I've decided to do it again. Since we've already run through a brief history of battle royales, we can just get right into the meat of this one. Totally accurate battlegrounds, colloquially, 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 commonly known, total accurate. Totally Accurate Battlegrounds, commonly known as Tab G, is a parody game made as an April Fool's joke in 2017 as a direct response to the huge success of PUBG. At this point in time, there was peace in the galaxy as Fortnite had yet to be released. Yay! Let's start off with what the game does differently to PUBG. Besides a huge shift in tone, one of the main changes is the way the zones work. I love the way the circle moves in in this game. It is genuinely menacing, and if you get caught out, you're out of the game. Around the map, giant rectangular pillar thingers fly through the air, moving closer to the designated area. Once they arrive, all sound stops. Just for a moment. Then a huge crash as they bury themselves in the ground. From that point, you get a timer by the minimap. Walls start to spread out from the pillar, moving in until they connect with the other pillars. Generally, you get a fair bit of time before the wall fully closes in, but if you're a fair distance away, unlike with the traditional style, you can get closed out. So, you'll need a vehicle. So let's talk about that. There are a number of vehicles coming under two categories, special vehicles and normie vehicles. Let's start off with the boring stuff. The bike. This one doesn't have a motor, unlike the other bike, so I guess this is a... Um, a bike cycle. A bike A bicycle. Yeah. Because you cycle on it, like with the pedal, so it's a bicycle. The muscle car. This one can seat all the boys. Or gals. We gotta be inclusive. Uh, wherever you need to go, this will get you there. The motor bicycle. This is one fast speedy boy. It also has a variant with a sidecar bumping its seating up to five. Wait, what the? A motor bicycle with four sidecars? Why? Six? Why? Why would you put. Why would you need six sidecars? Wait, no, no. How are there eight sidecars? Why? Why? <laughs> Alright, now the special ones. We got a UFO, a hippie van, and the T-Racer. Before I get further, yes, this game is genuinely more involved and complex than Not My Car is. An April Fool's Joke is an actually better game than Not My Car. Yes. Yes. There are a ton of weapons. Most of them feel pretty good, though inaccurate, but that's the way the game is designed to be. I'm not gonna run through them because there are way too many, but there is one that must be mentioned. The Handgun. Yes. What makes this game so great is how intentionally stupid it is. You can press G and your character will start beatboxing and holding his gun like a gangster. Back in 2017, it was a breath of fresh air from the overly serious PUBG. And even now, it still holds up as an awful, amazing battle royale. Country roads, take me. 